Project Storm, and today we are going to start with fuel injectors. We are going to be installing the supplied injectors we told you about earlier. These are the thick injectors, the 650cc fuel injector clinic injectors, and that's what's going in Storm. Uh, so to start things off, basically we are going to be unplugging all the fuel injector electrical connectors. There's a couple 10 millimeter bolts that holds down the uh, fuel rails and then pretty much you'll pull them up and then just start popping out injectors and putting in the new ones. Pretty straightforward on the injector swap. Not a whole lot to it. Um, so hell yeah, let's get to it. We're undoing the electrical connectors on the fuel injectors right now. Pretty easy. Just pull back the little red tabs press the uh, little locking button and unplug them pretty straightforward and then right there in the middle you can see that little tab right there we already removed the 10 millimeter bolt uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove this uh, PVC line real quick and get it out of the way and then you'll also have where your factory engine cover clips to on top of the fuel rail here you're gonna have to remove that plastic uh, little dilly-dally and then that should be about it. And then after you remove the, the plastic piece off the top of there, which is a 13 millimeter, you're gonna have to remove this stud, which is a, kind of a special little tool that goes on the top there and uh, kind of like a little Torx bit really but you have to remove that and then that's that 10 millimeter in the back and then this stud right here is what holds down your factory fuel rail so we're going to get this removed real quick and I'll show you the tool for that alright so here's a set of the special little gizmos that you need to remove that type of hardware it's basically I'd call it like a reverse Torx honestly I can't remember the real name of them real quick off the top of my head but that's all it is uh, so we're going to figure out which one it is that fits that thing. It's the E5. So it's the number five. The number five special dilly dally guy thingamabopper thing. Yeah, one of those. All right, so we got this fuel rails completely ready to come up. See how uh, tight these O-rings are holding it in. Usually, sometimes they can be a pain to pull up. Short man problems. Yeah. Yeah, I've worked the pry bar underneath that mounting location. You usually can get it to pop and then work the back a little bit. You usually go back and forth and then it'll pop up there. There you go. Got her. Bam. Factory injectors. All right, so we're going to take out these uh, factory injectors. We're going to get our thick injectors. And uh, real quick, I'm going to show you how to release at least one injector. And then we're going to go ahead and swap them all out. Um, but I'll have them do this one real quick. That one in the middle, you got that little metal tab, uh, clip right here. You just slide that clip back. And those clips will kind of go flying sometimes. But you just work that little clip back. And then you can pull out the injector. And you'll get a little bit of gas. And then sometimes I like to check. All right, now see, here's a prime example. This one did it. Let me zoom out here. So he's got the old injector in his hand. All right, the O-ring is not on there, okay? And that's because the O-ring is stuck inside the fuel rail. So you have to remember 
to pull out that o-ring with a pick before you put in your new injectors otherwise they're not going to seat and you're going to have a bunch of fitment issues so always make sure all the old o-rings come out before you put in your new injectors so that's pretty much it we're going to get these swapped out real quick and we'll be back here shortly all right guys so we have all the injectors swapped over these are the new fix 650 cc injectors right here and uh, we just got to put the fuel rail back in and then we're going to go over here to the driver's side and do the same thing and we already pre-lubed the o-rings up so definitely helps put everything in a little easier when you're pressing everything back down pretty much it pop them in and we're going to put our hardware back in and uh, this side will be completely done and time to do the driver's side what's up guys I wanted to show you my secret hole right here inside the Ram trucks to do the driver's side injectors and honestly the passenger side injectors and all and just in general all right when you have the fan shroud out and the fan clutch believe it or not you know I'm not a very skinny person I'm kind of a fat ass you can get down in here and stand right up flat footed and work over the top of this engine pretty easily all right, it definitely makes life a little easier if you can climb down in this hole when you have everything removed to be able to work on these injectors right here. So just wanted to kind of share that. Um, it's, you know, again, it's kind of difficult getting over this stuff. Now, if you have a topside creeper, that would be the ticket also. Those are awesome. Uh, I don't have one and they're kind of expensive, but otherwise, you climb down in here and get it done just like this. So, hell yeah, let's get it done. Alright, so we're at step 10. We gotta install the crankshaft supercharger pulley. So we're gonna get the three bolts that's supplied in this bag of bolts right here and hardware from Torque Storm. And we're gonna mount the pulley on the truck. We already have the pulley set up here on the front of the ATI pulley. So I'm gonna get three bolts for it and we're gonna torque it down real quick. Alright guys, now that we got our injectors completely installed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the map sensor in so we can get that over with. And we're using, basically it's an SRT4 uh, two bar map sensor. And we're using the Torque Storm map sensor adapter to fit the RAM intake. And that is an additional part that you need. Um, some people will use the Pro Charger version. But Torque Storm actually has an adapter they make themselves that is actually a lot cheaper than the Pro Charger adapter. So there you go. That's what it looks like when it's installed. And now we're just going to go plug this onto the intake manifold. And that is going to be located in the very back of the manifold. And it's kind of a booger to get to. And I really can't get the camera back there, but it's on the back passenger side of the intake manifold is where you're going to find your map sensor. Hey, oh yeah, guys. We are at a good stopping point for tonight. Next thing on the list, we're about to get with this uh, windshield washer fluid tank and remove it. And we're going to uh, tap it and put the fitting in for the water meth to feed off the bottom of the factory tank. And then obviously, we still gotta put in the supercharger and the brackets and everything on the passenger side of the motor. And we're pretty much done. Wasn't too bad. All in all, first time drilling into a Hemi crankshaft. What do you think there, guy? Drilling it wasn't bad, it was easy. But sitting under that damn truck was the part, the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Not the most comfortable position, but the drilling went pretty good. And again, guys, like I said earlier, and I showed you, uh, this is a 90 degree drill, runs off air compressor. This one's from Cornwell Tools. I'm a Cornwell Tool kind of guy. Uh, everything I got is either Harbor Freight or Cornwell Tools. And uh, like I said, you don't have to have a fancy Cornwell Tool one or a Snap-on or whatever. You just need a 90 degree drill. You can pick one up at Harbor Freight if you need. Uh, but it does make life easier and it went through 
We did the drilling process on this one and it went like butter. Super, super simple, especially with two guys. One guy keeping the bit lubricated and the other guy drilling worked really, really well. But other than that, guys, I'm going to cut it off. There'll be another part to this uh, install and uh, we'll see how far we get and we may be able to finish it up. There might be another one to follow that, but we'll see. Anyways, heck yeah, Torque Storm Superchargers. As always, stay safe out there, guys. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.